Hello and welcome back. In the last episode we added a reticle, um, but we also observed that the bullets aren't directly flying toward the reticle. They're, they're a little bit off to the right. So, a few things to note. Um, what we're going to do in this episode is the player is sort of like looking straight through this way and the gun is off this way. So, if the character is looking at this point on the rock, the bullets are going to be hitting here. What we're going to do is do something called a waycast out to this point and then make that the target for the gun and it's going to shoot there. Um, however, it, it'll look good when it's shooting off into the distance, but if it's up close, if, if it's trying to target a point right in front of the player's eyes, then the bullets are going to start shooting like this, which is going to look really stupid. So we're going to make sure that the target is at least, oh, I don't know, like three units away from the player. Um, if, if it's if it's less than three units away from the player, we're just going to continue to shoot directly out from the gun. So it, it won't be perfectly accurate, um, like within this range, but that I think it'll it'll be good enough. And plus, if if the enemy is that close to the player, then the player is pretty much screwed anyway. So to do that in the basic gun script, which is becoming kind of a mess, we want to do a raycast from the camera. So the camera, it's marked as main camera by default. So to access that, all we have to do is say camera.main, and that gives us a reference to the camera. Now to do a raycast, we want something like um, ray, ray, ray equals new ray, and we can give it a position and a direction. The position is going to be camera dot main dot position or transform dot position. Sorry, and camera dot main dot transform dot forward. And then we need we need um we need something to come out of the raycast, and that's going to be something called a raycast hit. Raycast hit hit. And now we can actually perform the raycast operation, which is physics dot raycast dot or that might be it physics dot raycast, and that's looking for a ray a direction a distance there there's sixteen different um options for this. I think I'm going to use this one. Camera dot main dot transform dot forward out hit and we could use a layer mask. I'm just gonna set a max distance of a thousand. Okay. And we don't need that if. Alright, so so this is going to do a raycast. And it's going to look directly out from the player's viewpoint. And it's going to find a point somewhere like here. And the bullets are hitting here, but now, it, now at least we know where exactly this point is. Because it's stored in this hit. Make sure we have a semicolon here. So now, if hit, actually, um, float distance to hit equals v3 dot distance, trans, uh, let's do camera dot main dot transform dot position, and hit dot position, hit dot point. If distance to hit is less than three actually let's do greater than if distance to hit is greater than three we're just gonna point the gun toward that point point. 
Um, and th this script is directly on top of the gun, so to do that, all we have to say is transform dot look at hit dot point. And I think that'll work. I haven't tested this yet. It's kind of just making stuff as I go. Um, notice that something broke. The best overload method match for Unity has some invalid arguments. Argument 2 is missing. Okay, so I, I broke something. So we have a ray, a direction. Sorry. I don't like how disorganized this is. Like, there's not really any specific order. Origin, direction, distance, layer mask. Origin, direction, hit info, max distance. I feel like that's what I used. I don't know why it gave me an error. So let's make sure we have cam.forward. And out, hit. It's still not happy. Argument 2 is missing the out modifier. Well, that's not the, the method I'm using. Origin, direction, hit. Oh, okay. I see what happened here. I don't, I don't actually need this ray object. So now I have origin, direction, hit. Okay, so let's see what that does. Aha! I'm pretty happy with that. It seems like it's, it's actually shooting directly where we're aiming now. And you, you can't actually tell that the gun is rotating to face the reticle. It just, it pretty much just looks perfect. Alright, so I'm going to cut this video off here. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please subscribe.